Good morning. My name's Elliot. Good morning. My name is Rubina. Today is Friday. December 15th. It's a week to day two. For lunch today is grilled cheese. For breakfast tomorrow, it is snack bread. Banana. Blueberry. And lemon poppy seed. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have, Have a great day. day. Hello. Hello. Welcome, Welcome to Spirit, Spirit Week. Week. On Monday, where your school's spirit or school colors. On Tuesday, it's Twins Day. That means dress as a twin or wear twins jerseys. On Wednesday, it's Rainbow Day. Ask your teacher what color you are. On Thursday, it's Sports Day. Wear any sports you want. On Friday, it's Pajama Day. Get out of bed and come to school. <laughs> but don't forget to wash your face. Have, Have a great, great spirit, spirit Week next week. Welcome to Spirit Week. On Monday, wear your school gear. On Tuesday, it's Twins Day. You can dress as your favorite teacher if you want. I may dress up as Mr. Sheck. <laughs> On Wednesday, it's Rainbow Day. For example, grade five is purple. You can also wear purple jerseys, like the Vikings. On Thursday, it's Sports Day. On Friday, stay in your pajamas and come to school. We hope you love Spirit Week. Good morning, everyone. It's Miss Hood here with your weekly puzzle. Let's see if we can figure it out. Hmm. You may need to pause this one to look really closely and become a detective like Dudley to figure out what's going on with this alphabet. Ready for a hint? This is actually how I feel when I don't get to see you four days out of the week. Hmm. The answer is missing you. Notice there's no you. This is how I feel sometimes when I don't get to see you for four whole days. Have a great day of learning, everyone. Hey, boys and girls. Today we're talking about second step of setting a goal, planning for the goal, changing, reflecting, and setting a 10-minute goal. One of the things we learned about previously is taking a big goal and breaking it down. I'm gonna talk about the goal of morning drop off of how to get out of your car um, so that you're not slowing down the car line. We wanna talk about getting out of the car by yourself. By this time of the year, you shouldn't need your mommies and daddies to get out of the car and buckle you, give you a hug to get out of the car. So let's talk about our goal. We set a goal, we're gonna get out of the car without anybody and do it ourselves. We're gonna plan, and here is my plan. I'm gonna learn how to unbuckle myself. I'm gonna have my items ready to go. I'm gonna give hugs at home, not in the car line, not having mom and dad come out of the car. Hugs at home and head into school. So I can open the door, I can unbuckle myself, I can get out of the car and head in. Now, sometimes we have to change our plans because the car line is long. And the only reason the car line is long is because people haven't made a plan. So kindergartners and first graders, your plan is you're now big boys and girls. Unbuckle yourself, have your items ready to go and tell your mommies and daddies, hugs are at home, not in the car line. Everybody gets out. You tell your mom and dad, stay in the car. That is a do-it-yourself 10-minute goal for second step.